Here, let's do like deuces or something. So good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Ohio day? Good morning, guys. So last week when we were on this property, TQ mentioned that we need to get some mask. And I'll be honest with you, we need some mask. And uh, this dust is getting insane. Long story short, RZ Mask reached out to us and they said, hey, we got something we'd like for you guys to try out. And uh, they sent us over a few sets of them. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try them out and uh, we'll let you guys know what we think. Back here at this one, as you can see, the leaves are falling. Some of you may be wondering where Zach is. He asked for the day off so that he can mow his own properties because we do, hopefully, we do have a chance for rain to come in. So he wanted to get his lawns taken care of and uh, yeah, he'll be back whenever he's back. So that's right. You ready, TQ? I'm ready. Let's do Always. It. completely gone I'm doing everything I can to you know just get it loud enough for you guys to hear uh, with that being said TQ is going around all the property edges and beds blowing everything out so it makes it easier for me to come along and mulch it up and then we're gonna actually go ahead and just bag this property off <laughs>
Good job. Thanks. Looks good. Yep. So went ahead and mulched them in, and then I took the bagger and just cleaned the excess off. They're still falling. It'll be covered again next week. But uh, I had the customer come out. Yeah. Yeah. She was like, I don't know if you guys charge extra, but if you have to charge extra, my dad he tries to get all these leaves out of all the beds, and can you just blow them out for us? I was like, That's we got you. We got yeah. you. So. I can breathe. <laughs> don't feel like you have to blow your nose. And my lips aren't covered in dust, so that's a good, good thing. Yeah. Because you're constantly licking them whenever they're uh, dirty. Well, I, I did another video. I don't know if you, you got it or not, but there was one video before this. I was constantly going, to like spitting all the stuff out of my mouth. So. If I find that video, I'll share it with you. <laughs> all right, we're out of here. This is Lucas. Hey, Lucas, this is Sean. Sean, how are you? Good, bud. Hey, I'm at, I'm at your house. Uh, this thing does not need service, to be honest with you. Like, there's some <laughs> there's some leaves in the backyard, but there's zero growth on it. Like, I don't yeah. I don't want to take advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? Nope. I, I appreciate that. I, yeah, if, if it was just a week ago, I don't think it's growing that that crazy right now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you. We are going to be out of town next week, so I won't be able to service okay. it then, but I will come early the following week, okay? That should be perfect. All right, brother. All right, thank Have you. a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, guys, so just being honest with the customer, there's zero growth on this thing. I mean, zero growth. There's a few leaves in the backyard we could clean up, but it's really not even worth messing with. Uh, kind of what we just been running through. I do want to recommend to you guys, though, Call the customers. Don't be afraid to touch base. Have a relationship with them. They appreciate that far more than if you just ghost them or don't say anything. Like, call them, then they know they can call you, they can reach out, whatever. Uh, this is what I found and TQ has found that's worked really, really well for us to build long-term relationships. Anybody that's followed this channel, you can see our customers tend to stay with us a long time. And that's because of our customer service and the job that we do whenever we come out. So just wanted to share that with you. While we were getting ready for the Equip Expo, our dealership called and said, can we get another order of flex chute? So I'm wrapping this one up real quick here. We're going to deliver 10 out to Schleybaz in Apple Creek, Ohio. And uh, yeah, they're back in stock out there and ready to rock. Alright guys, I'm going to throw a lock on this. I'm going to be delivering it here in a little bit, but i got one more pit stop before we get there. So, let's go. Alright, so I'm chipping away at getting all these decaled, assembled in the boxes, and boxed up and ready to go. Um, there's a lot to do when you have your own booth at the expo. But it's definitely well worth it. I just can't wait to get there couple more days and we're out of here right now I'm just assembling stapling I guess the uh, instruction papers and what's neat about our thing here is I know a lot of other companies do is we have a barcode here you can scan and it'll pull up a, a install video as well so that's also neat because some people some people um, work better when they visually see it instead of reading it. I'm one of those people. I like to visually see it. That's why YouTube is a very, very good key to learning things. How-to videos and all that. guys here at Great Lakes Tires. Uh, we left Young Trucking. They went through the front end again. Everything is tight. Everything is good. 
there's nothing whatsoever that they seen would make this thing shake. So you can see down here, they got those right there. They got the two new ones for the sway bar on each side. Everything is good. They said, get the front tires checked. That's what's making it shake. I came here and they just tested it. Check this out. All right guys, so they just tested the tires and the runoff was 159. So even though the tires look good, they're not good. So they're saying it's probably in here, probably a rot or something. So we're gonna go ahead and replace these ones. Both those tires are trash. These ones appear to be good. Everything looks all right. The front ones, completely done for they the runoff on them was the highest these guys said they've ever seen so we're gonna get two new firestones installed and uh they weren't cheap but uh you know i'd rather be safe than cheap Big shout out to Dalton here getting me taken care of. Yes, Got me taken care of here. Two new front tires. And uh, we're going to be in action. We're going to see if it helped out a little bit. So let's get on the road. That's what it was. It was the tires. I'm running 65. We thought it was that sway bar, which that sway bar bolt needed fixed anyway. So they replaced them both. But uh, yeah. The shakiness is out of it. It's not going all over the place. All right, guys. Just got here to Slay Box. Going to be dropping off this order. The flex chutes are back in stock. All right, new boot check, Irish Sutters. I believe they call these the Marshall. Uh, love these boots, had quite a few pairs of them, love them.
so we are out here doing a, a mock booth in our driveway in the dark. Uh, we'll have to raise this up a little bit. Probably want to take this tray off. Yeah, we should be able to. I think is it Alan? Yeah, it's a big one. We don't need this tray for nothing, right? No. It says it's a computer, like a laptop, or it could probably hold like the um, cable box, maybe. <clears throat> Throwing things. Let's put this back on. They screw into it? Yeah. Neighbors are probably wondering what the heck they build a wall. <laughs> At this point in life, they probably like. <clears throat> we don't even try to <laughs> figure out the craziest thing these guys have done. <laughs> we don't even try to figure it out. Alright. Have we already plugged this in? Or don't come out? That, wait, 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 that's the table plug. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, then. Next morning, bright and early, guess what time it is. Spencer Products, Spencer Lawn Care, TQ, myself, and our entire team, we're heading out. Let's get on the road. We'll see you guys in Louisville, Kentucky. In the next one so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace bye bye